fuck, man, I'm so tired. Ugh, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Ugh. Hey, bro. Bro, it's been three weeks. Where is the content at, bro? Bro, who the fuck are you? How'd you get in my house? Don't worry about that, bro. Don't, don't worry about, I am, you, I'm your alter ego. I'm your alter ego. I'm one of your viewers, bro. Tell me right now. It's been three damn weeks. Where the fuck has your content been? No, bro. What the fuck is that on the top of your head? Why do you look like a goddamn gr a grandpa at a family barbecue? Oh, I see. You, you want to play games. You, you, you hey, bro. Jump. Chill, you bro. Chill, jump. chill. Yo, what is going on guys? It's me, JTX, and I'm going to be making just this quick little introduction for you guys and gals just to let you know what's going on. Today, I'm going to be showing you my 2019 setup. This has also been my 2018 setup, but I've updated it with a lot of new hardware. Um, so I hope you guys and gals really do enjoy this. I've been wanting to make this video for a bit, uh, but I'll explain a little bit of things why like I haven't made this video uh, at the end of this video. So just stick through with it with me, you know, and I'll show you guys and gals the whole room and the setup and um, everything. So I hope you guys and gals really do enjoy this little tour. And um, yeah, I'll see you right here. All right, guys and gals. So yeah, we're just gonna start. The video quality is not 100% the best. I can turn on this light right here. Maybe that, that'll definitely help. So we're, we're just gonna start with this right here. Okay, so this is like the main part of like what my whole big setup thingy is. So to explain all this, let's just start from here. We have my Nintendo Switch right here. This is like it, you know, and then we've got all my games like set up right here with like Xenoblade, Splatoon, ARMS. We've got the PS4 right here with all those games too. You can see like, like my PS4 games are a lot larger than my Nintendo Switch games. And then we've got my Xbox down here, which is, uh, yeah, barely used. Um, <laughs> and the thing about it is, is like, my mother helped me get the PS4. Oh my God, this tripod, I'm gonna die. Ah, I already ruined it. Anyway, my mom helped me get this PS4 by like paying $100 down on it for me. And then I paid the rest of it off when I got my job. The Xbox One S was a gift for my dad. I still play the Xbox. Um, I have Game Pass on it. You know, I just don't have that many new games for it because usually all the Xbox games here are on the PS4 or either on that or on the PC, which we'll all get to. And then I have the Nintendo Switch here, you know, um, just because um, I, I play my Switch the most out of any two consoles. I may play a lot of Apex on this, but I definitely, definitely, definitely play a lot more Smash on my Switch. So I, I put my Switch at the top just for it's easy to grab, you know, the Xbox. I don't turn it on that much, so I do that. Um, but yeah, I have all the original... Um, boxes this was the box that got on release day the box i got the day and then that, that's my christmas day box so i make sure to keep it my nintendo 3ds there i barely use that anymore because i broke the joystick on it and then like right here if some of you are wondering this is my mario case it has all my video games in it um but enough exclusives about that some of you are wondering probably what this is right here so this is what I consider like the top finish, you know, like for esports and everything. It just shows a little bit of my favorite thing. So I've got my iPhone 6 case. I got that. That's what I'm recording with right now. Um, I'm going to get a professional camera here soon. Don't worry. And then I've got my blue Yeti snowball mic, which is what I use for my main setup, which is over there. And I'll show you. I've got my Elgato, which I have hooked up right down here. And it just takes all the data, processes it up here into the computer, which I'll show you guys in just a sec. Naruto pin, I got that at a game conference. And then here's the deep part about it. I've got my eSports competition posters and everything. This was, I believe, the very first eSports event I went to that was in my area. And there was these people named Yukatsu, I'm not gonna get deep into it, but they hosted our first uh, school, high school eSports league competition. And that's just the poster there from it. I'm glad I saved this, cause like, as you can see here, it's a little bit like ripped up. So this is pretty old, this is like, September 8th 2017 so this was a year ago and it was just a blast you know and now we have more cards here um we have both of them like Friday you know these are the same but this was just rock bridge that was really hype it really like this right here is what brought me into the esports scene and what it like made me play you know uh I've got World of Warcraft I've got this Nintendo mug here I got with this combo box 
that's where all these little things came from my little speaker my mario pin and then world of warcraft i picked that game up i thought the case looked cool and i didn't want to throw it away so i kept it and then here i have my rock bridge esports jersey from last year and this was a big thing people laugh at me nowadays for keeping this jersey and i'm telling you right now this getting this thing was by far the best thing in my life like esports turned my life around immensely you know this is what i got for super smash brothers my first official uh tournament here i didn't do well at that tournament but i still kept that because it was my first smash tournament i was hyped about it and i enjoyed every bit of it and as you can see here first poster for our esports club starting up in our school and then we have just posters posters PUBG. Kingdom Hearts, PUBG, Fallout. These are my favorite games. Smash, Pokemon, and then we have um, My Hero 1 Justice. I don't have the game, I've played it a little bit. I like My Hero Academia as well, so it's like Academia, Academia, not whatever, fuck it. I like the game, and I like the sh anime, and I can't wait for season three. I can't wait for that. Wreck-It Ralph, good movie. That's Wreck-It Ralph 2 right there. And um, yeah, so let's just get into the meat and beans of everything. Now that you guys have seen like the main, this is the big part I consider of my gaming setup this is like the huge part as you guys and gals can see again whoa the elgato hooks into my tv right here and right here i've just got the tv it's just super smash brothers on there uh my logitech uh webcam i'll put it up there what kind of webcam that is and then like my nintendo switch stuff rc cola my favorite kind of cola got my computer here my alienware 15 um if you guys and gals haven't seen h3h3 you guys need to check these guys out they're seriously funny and I, I love their content whenever they post it. This Alienware 15 or 4, I think this is the 14 or the 15. This isn't the best laptop I've ever had. Not the best gaming laptop, very behind. I think it's like a 2014 model, so to like five years behind from our generation. It has like a GTX, or not GTX, a GT570 in it or something like that. I'll post it in the comments. I'll put it up on the screen now. Not the best graphics card, but it gets me by in terms of like streaming my gameplay, recording the gameplay and editing everything and then here's my blue snowball mic i'm gonna upgrade that here soon eventually as well and as you guys and gals could see i basically just got the the basic desktop setup here and then uh the dx racer chair that i run won from elevate again thank you guys like I, i'm gonna go through more about the whole chair thing at the end of this, of this freaking video because it's just absolutely amazing how all of this has happened to me uh nothing much there just my bed and then there and then i guess if you guys guys want to see this i have it set up i don't know how light it is in that closet but basically in this closet i have like my boxes i have my budget setup headset that i had and then i have my a tint here some cologne stuff because you know i get the ladies you know you know you know and then i've got some uh oh lucio oh some goldfish some, you know some oreos you know when you're living with family you gotta you gotta keep the snacks to yourself especially if it's the lucio o's you know you can't you just can't you can't let nobody touch those okay i like to read a lot of books okay books are pretty lit and then i've got like gatorade down there and then some clothes you know just classical classic stuff i got my hats up there and like i eventually want to get more like hats and stuff i'll talk to you guys about the updates i want to do right here in just a second but that's basically all for the closet right there um so that really is just all of it right there that's basically all of my room um, here, let me turn this around. That's basically everything for my gaming room, you know, my gaming setup. It's not a lot, and I've had a lot worse than this. I'm glad to have a bed and everything. I'll talk about that over there in just a second in the chair once I get finished recording this. Um, but that's the basics of my room. There's nothing in this closet right here. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. There's nothing in this closet. Um, I'll probably put all of my gaming peripherals in there with some lg R, R, rgb lighting and stuff like that but i hope you guys and gals enjoyed this segment stick around i've got some important stuff to talk to you guys and gals about uh at the you know the, the starting part of this current transition right now um but yeah thank you guys and gals for sticking around with me and let's just move on over into the next part all right guys and gals well i really do hope you guys and gals enjoyed that segment and getting able to like see what my room looks like and what my gaming setup looks like um i'm gonna tell you guys and gals right now my gaming room is usually not this clean the only reason why i recorded this video today was because i was like hey i want to get up i want to clean my room you know and i thought hey it's an added benefit to record what my gaming setup looks like not only for like future purposes so i can look back on what i had and what i upgraded to now uh but to like you know just make a video and get some content out there to you guys and gals 
I've had a lot of busy stuff going on. I know I've been saying this a lot, but I appreciate everyone's patience and trust me, like when I get free time to upload and edit and all that, I try my best to, to take advantage of that time and use it. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but just to get into it, a lot of people may say my setup isn't exactly a setup. I consider it a setup because, you know, it's set up, you know, things are put in order. Things are like I'm able to make videos with this. I'm able to stream with it, game with it. So I consider this a setup and I'm going to let you guys gals in on low, like not a big secret of mine, but on a thing that happened like a, a while in the past. Um, growing up, I didn't exactly have that much. I'll be real with you. Um, I used to have points in my life where me and my mom would be out by ourselves and we would like you know sleep in cars because like we couldn't afford the rent and like we would get evicted and stuff like that it's it's, it's deep you know it's pretty rough and I don't want to like throw a dark image and a dark image into this mood but like a lot of the times in my life I never really had a lot to grow up with I didn't I think for the most point in my life until I was at least like until I was at least like 15 I didn't truly have a room to myself um, and I'm 17 now which speaks a lot you know that's just two years ago I never truly had a dedicated room with a bed that was actually up on the floor and not just a set mattress on the ground um, I never really had a desk you know I never really had gaming setup I never really had the opportunity to have like a true setup so I I, I remember times where like I was living with my grandpa and it was far back into my YouTube career, way far back. I have a video of it, but I don't have the webcam displayed. I would have this gaming computer. My grandpa bought me this gaming computer. You know, he was like, yo, I want you to have something good. You know, and even while we're like living like this, you're living with me. I still want you to have what makes you happy. So I have to appreciate my grandpa for that. He bought me this gaming computer. He bought me a lot of the components I needed um, to grow my YouTube channel way back when. And I would get a red tarp and I would put it down in the bathroom right next to a fucking toilet like I know it's bad that sounds terrible but I was genuinely happy with that because YouTube was something fun for me you know I would lock myself in the bathroom put the red tarp down record a video right then and there in the bathroom shitty mic quality shitty everything like I'm in a bathroom that's how bad the quality is you know so I grew up like this and I, I made a lot of content this way and I never really grew up with a true room to myself and I think this is the point in life where like I've had the most you know not only in like YouTube views you know not only in like YouTube subscribers and support but I've had a lot of things to myself and thankfully now because I have a job and I'm getting a good education at school and I'm surrounded by good people I'm able to go further and have a lot more. So I, that, that's why I say I appreciate you guys a lot because I know I fuck up a lot. It, it's it's known. You know, I don't make the most consistent content. I don't stay true to my word most of the time. You know, you, not a lot of people do. Um, but I do like to like thank you guys and gals for being with me. And I hope you guys and gals see this evolve. Like every time I get something major, I'm going to go to upgrade and like make a video about like what I'm doing to my room. Big advancements to this room. I'm going to make videos on and I'm just gonna build like a ladder of content and videos and just growth is gonna be seen if I could have recorded day one for me getting up off the bathroom floor and getting into a room with a desk and everything I would have done that but I was being an idiot and same goes for this right here this chair I won this from elevate thank you team elevate again for that it's so amazing it changed my life when I won this chair back when I was in the room I was recording the video I still had my bed on the floor um, I can post it. I can show you guys and gals right now. I still had the bed on my fucking floor and it, I was in a room with no desk. I had a gaming chair, but no desk. I was recording on the floor at that time too. And it was just absolutely insane to win this chair and have the opportunity to get this chair and have elevate follow through with their words because I've won so many things from so many other places, but they were just never legit. And that's why I entered a lot of giveaways because I could never really buy something on my own I could never really get it you know and I I I am I'm appreciative of that you know I, I think elevate deeply like when I see this chair I'm thinking like wow what the fuck that really happened they really sent it over they kept true to their word and they hosted a fair and true giveaway so like I appreciate them so much for sending this chair over and like it, it really meant a lot even though like the CEO of elevate came over it's like i think it was todd they're not todd not todd uh, I, I know the name but it's like 
I'm stuck right now, but like he came over to my channel and commented on the video myself and even DM me on Twitter to make sure that I got this chair. Just seeing all that appreciation and getting this chair was such a big leap. There are a lot of things that gave me a big leap like esports and all my friends. So I'm glad to see this setup grow and I can't wait to make more content on this setup growing more because this has been an insane ride. You know, with YouTube, with everything, with the growth in my personal life and the growth in my channel and just in the growth in everybody. And it's just, I think this is one of the things that needs to be recorded and put up just so you guys and gals can like understand the deep, the deeper part of this. So that's really all I wanted to say. Thank you guys and gals for watching this video. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. Um, also talking about my gaming setup real quick, just to get that up. I'm building a new computer right now. Some new things happen with my scheduling. I can't build in a week. I probably should have thought that. So I cut the savings I had, which was a $100 bill, into 50 and I had another 50 that I'm going to use personally. But I do have a lot more coins stashed up. I'm building a save things for this. I'm not going to touch the money I have. And every time I get paid, more money goes into it. So if you guys and gals do want to donate, you don't have to. You don't have to donate. I'll probably have the money here soon. You know, I'm going to rack it up over time. But if you want to donate and help the process go a little bit faster, I'm building a 500 and like 40 ish gaming dot computer that you guys and gals can like donate to if you want to. I'll have this set up on stream. I'll have it set up in the description below. And um, that's really it. But if you guys want to push your, you know, push anything towards that, you don't have to. I appreciate it if you do, but you really don't. I understand. I can build this money too um, in multiple ways. But thank you guys and gals once again for watching this, for listening to everything, for being there and watching all my content. I really do appreciate everything. Thank you guys and gals for watching and peace out.